Hi guys and dolls, Michelle back with another video. Today I decided to have a little play with some acrylics. All you can really see in the screen there are some 3D gels. I was going to play with those today, but I did change my mind because I like the set as it was. Um, I'm using the NTS Clear as Day as clear base for the nails. I'm only going to show you laying down one clear base because obviously they're all the same. Tuck it into the cuticle, drag it down. I did use a pretty wet bead for the base. I'll just drag it down to the tip. And this is my first time doing acrylic on stiletto tips, so that was a little different. And the first color I'm going in with is Ginger Glow. It's a beautiful orange. And if you've been with me a while, you know me and my orange. Love it. And because today is September 19th, I think, as I'm filming this. So that's close to fall. I thought I'd do kind of an autumn set. And I, I am really happy about how it turned out. <clears throat> Excuse me. So on the pinky and the pointer, I do a full cover of <laughs> of uh, of uh, ginger glow. I'm laughing at myself because I hadn't picked up an acrylic brush in probably two weeks, and I'm using a new brush, not a new system to me. I've used CJP before. It does get better, I promise. But I'm using a new brush and I, I don't know. It was it was pretty rough going there for a while. But it does get a little bit better. I don't know. I don't know why I was having so much issues. Maybe because I hadn't picked up a brush in a while. Maybe that's why. And I was having some shadowing. And <clears throat> I don't know if anyone watching this can tell me. Um, if you do have thin acrylic and you can see the nail bed through it, should you wait till it dries a little bit before you lay it down more or just lay it, lay it down on top of the wet acrylic? I just laid it on top of the wet acrylic. Thankfully it worked out, but I'm not a hundred percent sure on um, how I should do that. My go-to for acrylic is Trey from Trey's Nail Designs and that's one question I have never had to ask <laughs> so now I'm asking all you guys if if you know the answer please tell me in the comments below because I really don't know I do know that I should if I put the first bead on the tip of the nail you should always feather it back to prevent shadowing but isn't that a pretty color that is such a pretty color. See, like it's it's like it's almost worse than the very first time I picked up an acrylic brush. Not that I'm highly experienced, mind you, but it it was pretty rough. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I do take away the thumb, even though that's the first one I did. Um the clear base on I do take away the thumb I just do four four nails because I was having so much trouble and I just I just couldn't today could not but I was very happy with my cuticle work it did flood the sides a little bit um that's me that's not the product. That's not anything. That's all me. This one is called Pineapple Fizz. I love that yellow. It's actually, it's it's pretty close to orange. <laughs> it's pretty close. You'll see when I lay it down on the middle nail there. Pretty close. I do <clears throat> end up doing an ombre on this nail. And again, I like how it looked. And on the ring finger, I do um, a marble with these two colors. It's not an in-your-face marble. It's, it's a very subtle marble, but I really, really, really like it. 
I really like how it turned out. I'm being very careful with the cuticle. You don't want this on the skin. It can cause uh, contact dermatitis after a while. So you can become allergic to it. Let's just clean it up a little bit there. It's so pretty. So all of the colored acrylics that I'm using are CJP and I'm using NTS uh, monomer because I don't have any CJP monomer or yeah, I don't have any CJP monomer. I have NTS, which is now empty. So when you do a marble, pick up two of the base colors that you're using for the marble, one on either side of the brush, a little bead and do the cuticle first and it makes it so much easier than trying to marble around the cuticle because that is never going to work out for you very well. You will end up filling it in, but just put down that little bit first and you'll see how much better it works out for you. And I could have put a white in here to make the marble a little more stand out a little more or something like that, but I like it. I like the subtlety. I am putting down teeny tiny little beads, so up and down. Don't overwork it. Tuck in your sides, because if you overwork it, you're going to end up with a muddy mess. It's just going to look like a color. It's not going to look like a marble at all. Um, another thing you can do with a marble is put clear in there. It just gives you a different effect. doesn't actually change anything. Again, keep the sides nice and even, or as even as you can. And two more should do it. They are awfully tiny beads that I'm going in with. I could have went a little bit bigger, but you know, I didn't. So there. <clears throat> and marble, when you're doing marble, it should be a wettish bead. Not not so much that it's running off the nail, but wetter than if you're just doing a regular full cover acrylic. But see, I like that effect. So here's CJP Supernova. Love this stuff. So I'm just going to put, oh, sorry, that was my head. I'm just going to put a little bit in uh, the marble in the same direction as the marble is going. Just so you know, when you turn your hand, you get that little hint of something, something. And it is so pretty. I love this Supernova. Actually, the first set I did on my own hands, I used Supernova because it is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. You look at it there, it looks like nothing. A few little dots on the nail. You turn your hand and it's like, bam. Beautiful, I love it. So then I decide, nope, you know what? I want more of the Supernova. So I kinda do two thirds of the nail, kinda in a little swooshy pattern. I know I'm not explaining myself very well, but you'll see. You'll see. I move it around a little bit till I'm happy and then I leave it alone and let it set up. But it is such a pretty premixed. It is a premixed glitter, by the way, which just means it's glitter mixed with um, acrylic. And I do the same thing on the pointer, just in the opposite direction. So they kind of mirror each other. I'm, see, I'm a clumpy mess. I don't know what the heck today. Like, I don't remember having this much trouble when I first started. Like, seriously. When I first started acrylic. But I persevered. Yes, I did. <laughs> I think right about here is when maybe I take off the thumb. I don't know. But I did. I removed the thumb. I just wanted to do the four. Because, to be honest... I had no idea what to do with the thumb. I guess I could have just done a full cover glitter. I put the palette out because I was going to use um, the 3D. That palette was from Joe's, just Joe Nail Addict, sorry. I was going to say from Joe's channel. Just Joe Nail Addict on YouTube. She's also on Instagram. Um, I won that palette from her. It is absolutely stunning. So here I'm just doing the ombre. I'm putting the Ginger Glow over the pineapple fizz 
and I wasn't happy, so, and I had a little hair in there. I don't know where all these fuzzies came from, I swear to you. They appear out of nowhere and mess up your set. So anyway, I'll cover that up. <laughs> so yeah, I put the ginger glow over the pineapple fizz. I think it's gone down the nail too far. So then I put some pineapple fizz on the tip of the nail. But first, I guess I'm going to go in with more ginger glow. I guess so, yep. There we go. I want to smooth that nail out because it is really lumpy bumpy. And I do not want to spend my evening filing. And I'm going to tell you guys, as bad as this set looked while I was creating it, I I didn't have to file hardly at all. It was... I had to file quite a bit, um, not quite a bit, but a little bit on the sides. <clears throat> Excuse me. But the actual top of the nail, after I clear coated, clear coated, listen to me, I'm talking like I'm using gel. After I clear capped and created the apex, they were really, really nice and smooth. So I'm just pulling that bead down a little bit and then pulling it back up the nail until I'm happy with the blend. And I think it looks really, really pretty. I'm really happy with myself. It didn't start out that way. I started out not being happy at all. But, uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy with these. You see that little jar I have my monomer in? Well, my husband was complaining about the smell. So I had to get something that would not let that smell escape once I was done. Just cleaning off my brush. I don't know why I'm showing you that. But apparently I am. Clean the monomer out of my brush. I know I was going to do a 3D flower. And, uh, yeah, with a 3D gel on the middle nail. But I changed my mind. Like I said, I was liking it the way it was. Now, I do want to play with my 3D gels. So that will be another video. Maybe later tonight or tomorrow. Maybe I'll play with some 3D gels. I only have four colors anyway, but you know, if, if you're, you only have four colors, if you only have a couple of colors and you want to use the 3D gels, you can always paint them afterwards. You can always put nail polish over them. That's not a problem because it's gel. So you can put gel polish on, you can put regular polish on, do whatever you want. So top coating time. Here we go. And look at that supernova. Oh, gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I love that glitter. I love that glitter. And see what I mean about the marble? It's not, <clears throat> it's not like stand out, pop off the nail, but it's just a little subtle something and I I really really like it I'm happy with that mind you I like a you know a more prominent marble too you know what the middle nail is looking like candy corn to me now that I'm looking back at this <laughs> except there's no white on it but it does look like candy corn doesn't it so that's it, a full 60 second cure now in the lamp. And this baby is ready to put to bed. Now see that sparkle, oh goodness gracious. I absolutely love Supernova. I love the other colors I've used too. That's Ginger Glow and Pineapple Fizz by CJP. And Clear as Day by um, NTS. And the brush I used was from Glitter Planet. Uh, it's the number eight bestie brush. So that's it for me for this time round. Ciao for now and hope to catch you in the next one. Bye.